Yokoso. My name is Shiri and this is the anime Kill Count where we tell up the kills in anime. Today we're breaking down the kills in Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust, released in the summer of 2000. Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust is a 2000 dark fantasy horror adventure anime film produced by Madhouse, written, directed, and storyboarded by Yoshiaki Kawajiri. Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust follows a dampier named D. He's also a wandering vampire hunter. D was hired by this old man to hunt down a noble who has taken his daughter, Charlotte. He gave D a heads up that he's not the only vampire hunter he hired for this job, but he also hired these mean looking individuals called the Marcus Brothers. Now let's how many died in Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust and count them up. Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust has a death toll of 55. The kills consist of 3 males, 1 female, 7 animals and all of them are horses, 33 vampires and 11 unique monsters. With a runtime of 102 minutes, Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust left us a kill on average every 1.85 minutes. I'll give the king katana to Bengi. This dude was able to kill Nolk by merely stabbing his shadow. Now that's an OP skill. He meets his demise from Kyle when he was cut in half by Kyle's spinning knife. The shabby kunai will go to Mashera. He's one of Meyer Link's guards, and he has a horrifying appearance. It's too bad that he was killed by D with East. And that concludes Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust Anime Kill Count. 
This early 2000 adaptation of better character designs, especially D, he early looks a lot menacing and close to what he truly is, a vampire. The tone of this adaptation fits perfectly. I always love the fact that both movies of the Vampire Hunter D franchise ends with the adversary's castle crashing down to nothingness. Also, this adaptation shoulders a tragic love story. That is all. Sayonara.